All right, how's it going, everybody? Uh, I want to give my thoughts of a show on Netflix, Resident Evil Infinite Darkness. It was disappointing for me. I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. I've started since pretty much the beginning. I love how the first three games are about characters put in a trap scenario and they have to find a way to escape. As cheesy as the dialogue were, they still felt grounded to me. After Code Veronica, they started to introduce the flippy flippy backflip spin kicky stuff to characters in the cutscenes, but not during the gameplay. The gameplay still felt like the original first three games, or just with updated graphics. A bit weird how they decided to pick and choose their action. Then Resident Evil 4 really started adding more action to the gameplay, and it got progressively worse after Resident Evil 5, making the series go more into a action and less horror. The same problems with all the movies, both live action and the CG, had more action and less horror. At this point, you may be asking, what does any of this have to do with Infinite Darkness? Well, hear me out. There is a point to this. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this show was disappointing. It has so many things working against it. This show is such a confusing mess. It's hard to describe what what it's about. The best I can think of is there is a terrorist attack on the White House with a zombie outbreak, and Leon gathers a team to investigate who started it and why. Claire is in the show, she hears about the attack and does her own investigations. That's the simplest way I can put it. I saw a tweet showing an article saying Infinite Darkness is just a big cutscene you can't skip, which sounds pretty accurate to me. This show does not feel like Resident Evil to me. I wonder if the show was actually originally supposed to be something else, because the show feels more like a Jason Bourne or Jack Ryan political thriller, but just with zombies added in as an afterthought. Ever since after Resident Evil 3, the series has been about terrorists that got their hands on a new type of virus, and then the next series comes around, it's about a terrorist with a new, new type of virus, and it just keeps going in that direction. This show is no different. Where is the adventure? What about the trapped characters trying to figure out how to escape the original series was known for? There were a lot of action in the later games, movies, and way over the top action in the CGI movies. They have slightly toned down the action in the show, which is not a bad thing, but there is also, but there's, but there's still almost no horror. Like, where is the horror? There were a few decent horror moments, but they were so few and far between. This show may be CGI, but I've seen CGI animated shorts pull off some pretty good horror in them, so it can be done. I never felt like both Leon and Claire were ever in any kind of danger. They both escape any situation they get put into really easily. Oh, and Claire was done dirty in the show. She's barely in the show, and it felt like she didn't really contribute anything. From this point on, I'm going to go into spoilers that really annoyed me, so spoiler warning if you haven't seen the show, because there are moments that I need to explain that were just so dumb that just did not work for me. So some of the spoilers that really annoyed me were a character named Jason transforms into a tyrant, but it just happens so quickly, and it was just... Yeah, it was just so quick. It was just so quick and uninteresting. Resident Evil had interesting body horror transformations throughout the series. Why couldn't they have them transform into something like, say, from the movie The Fly, for example? With a good performance, the change could look really painful. Or with a good performance, the change could have been slow. It could look painful. It could have been really terrifying. Just such a wasted opportunity. There were also so many moments of the tyrant had Leon like in his hands, but it was one of those just throwing him around, could have killed him at any moment. That just an that always annoys the shit out of me. The big spoiler that really annoyed me so much was the theme of the show. Something about truth creates fear and fear causes chaos. Leon has the evidence to expose corrupt people within the government doing the uh, I think it was like the creations of 
these bioweapon experiments or something along those lines. I, I kind of forget. He could have given Claire the evidence to expose them, but he chooses not to because fear in the people will cause chaos. Uh, what? So instead of exposing corrupt people within the government, preventing any further terrorist attacks, Leon's big plan is to not let the info out, leave everything as is for any, cor for any more corruption within the government to continue and pretend like nothing ever happened so citizens don't get scared and he's just be expecting them to panic and riot in the streets causing chaos. I, I, uh, I don't, oh, that's just fucking dumb. It's fucking dumb. That, that also just hurts Leon's character. It just makes him look so stupid. What were the showrunners thinking? Mm. Well, I've had enough of this show. It's four episodes, but it's about as long as one of the movies. It could, might as well have just been another CGI movie, but... This this was bad. Uh, this that was my thoughts. That was my thoughts on Resident Evil Infinite Darkness. This was disappointing, and I don't recommend this for any Resident Evil fan.